Hey guys, welcome back to Programming Knowledge Hub. My name is Vishal. In this lecture, I am going to explain an important conditional operator in C sharp known as ternary operator. The ternary operator is useful for checking the simple conditions in a very short and a simple way. It is represented as question mark and dot, but uh, don't worry about it. We'll get to the syntax of the ternary operator in a second. And the ternary operator is an alternative to the if else statement. Now let's take a look at the syntax of the ternary operator. The ternary operator contains a boolean condition. If that condition evaluates to true, then the expression one will be executed, and the result of the expression one will be uh, will become the result of the entire operation. If the condition evaluates to false, then the expression two will be executed, and the result of the expression two becomes the result of an entire operation. To understand the syntax more easily, you can think of the syntax as the statement specified before the question mark. That will be the condition, and if that condition is true, then the statement after the question mark will be executed. Otherwise, the statement after the colon will be executed. Let's understand the use of ternary operator with the help of an example. Here, I have created a simple console application. Let's write a program uh, which checks the largest number between the two given numbers using the if else statement. And later, I will show you how to write that program. We have how to write the same program. Using the ternary operator. So let's say I have declared a variable called a and assign the value 20 to it. Similarly, I declare the variable b and assign the value 30 to the variable b. Let's use the if condition saying if a is greater than b, we will write on the console saying a is the largest or if a is not greater than b. And of course, we will write on the console saying b is the largest. Let's run this program using control F5 and check the output. So the output says b is the largest. Great, because we have assigned 30 to the variable b. Now let's write the same logic using the ternary operator. So I will remove this if else condition and I will write the condition using the ternary operator. Let's say condition is a is greater than b. Then the statement before the question mark is a condition and the statement after the question mark will be the expression which should be executed if the condition is true. So what do we want? If the condition is true that is if a is greater than b we will write a is the largest otherwise if a is not greater than b then we will return b the largest okay so now but we got the error over here because we have to assign the value to some variable let's create a variable called result equal to this value okay so error is gone let's print the value of result on the console saying result and run the program again and check the output The output is the same. It says b is the largest. So, using the ternary operator, we uh, we have written the same logic, but it uh, in a very short and simple way. Now, just like we have the nested if else statement in C sharp, we also have a nested ternary operator in C sharp. And here is the syntax. We specify the boolean condition one. And if that condition is true, then the expression one after the first question mark will be executed. But if the condition is false, then we specify the second condition after the colon to be executed. And if the second condition is true, then the expression 2 will be executed. And if the condition is false, then the expression 3 will be executed and the result will become the result of the entire operation. Now let's say I want to modify this program and include another condition which checks if the value of A is equal to the value of B. So how do I do that? Actually, we cannot do that with the help of this simple ternary operator. So we have to use the nested ternary operator to check the same. So let's comment this line and write another statement. Say where result equals. The first condition says if the value of a is greater than value of b, then write a the largest. If the condition is false, 
let's check for another condition saying if the value of a is secret value of b is greater than value of a if it is then let's write b is the largest among the two variables and let's write another condition for the equality saying uh, if the a that's the value of a is equals to value of b then write both are let's say both values are equal and if not let's say return like no result now let's run this problem using control f5 and check the output yeah so the output says the b is the largest of course because because we have assigned 30 to the b and 20 to the a now let's assign 30 to the a and 30 to the b and run this program again to make sure our nested if else our nested standard operator is working so the output is both values are equal so that means our nested standard operator is working there are a few things that you need to remember while using the ternary operator. You can use the ternary operator as an alternative to the if a statement. You can write the same logic of the if a statement in just one line and make the code look good. If you have a nested if a statements in your code and you want to convert it in the nested ternary operator, uh, in most of the cases I recommend you to avoid that because the ternary operator can make your code unreadable and difficult to understand unless if uh, you have the simple conditions if you do not have a simple boolean expressions please avoid the avoid using the nested ternary operators thank you for watching the video if you find the content of this video helpful please like this video and share it with the other developers also if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to turn on the notifications